Hello everyone, Oxter here and welcome to another Epic 7 video. Today we're going to be doing a auto team for a specific um, hell raid monster. And the monster that I'm going to be attacking today is going to be Secretary Vera. So for those that don't know, Secretary Vera has like three phases. The first one where she just starts summons e summoning eggs like every time she uses her ultimate then the second phase which is the phase that is an egg and then the third phase when she comes back to the normal form but it's pretty much straightforward from there you just need to kill to kill her so um, to come from an, to come and and create an a auto team is a little bit difficult especially because of phase one because in the phase one you cannot attack um, Secretary Vera with a single attack. You need to attack Secretary Vera with a multi-hit attack or first you need to kill all the eggs around her. If not, then she's going to counter-attack and it's going to be stunning you. So that's a little bit difficult to do. So I'm going to be showing you the team that I'm using for that. Um, let's go to Heroes. And I will show you the four heroes that I'm using for that. So, first one is going to be Champion Serato. These are his stats. Um, crit and life steal, so he can sustain himself just in case. Um, here, the artifact is not going to work because he's more like a PvP build. But as the way he is right now, he does perfect, and you will see it in the video. So. <clears throat> That's one champion Serato. You can see he has 300, 3700 attack, 11,000 HP, some sp speed, which is eh, he could, he could be a little bit faster, but it's fine. Um, some critical hit chance, not 100%, but it's something, and some critical damage. I think, I think this could be better, but at the way he's right now, he's doing great. The next hero is DC. Yeah, I, I know it's a little bit weird to say, but yeah, she's my second hero for this um, auto team. Um, she's like a normal build, I could say. Like, she's speedy, but as you can see, she has some effectiveness. That's the only thing that I care about on her, because I really need her debuff, especially for, for attacking Vera, because you need to really slow her down. And also control her um, readiness, combo readiness. So you need to be careful about that. <clears throat> so you can see she has 207 speed, some HP, so she can survive, and attack, which is fine. You could give her a little bit more attack so she can destroy the eggs at the, at the first phase a little bit faster. But the special thing here is that she. Um, has her debuffs which helps a lot especially on S2 and S3 because with S2 you can prolong those debuffs and also decrease the common readiness on the on, on the boss so that helps a lot um, this so she can have a little bit more turns which is very helpful and that's pretty much it on her um, the next hero <coughs> and the maybe most important one here well, for me, it's the most important one. It's going to be Angelic Masmaranzi. Why? Because she's the one that is going to be healing you and removing the um, debuffs that your hero uh, your heroes acquire during the attack. And it's going to heal your heroes a lot. So, there's another reason of why I choose her, but I will be telling you the... I will tell you this before the the attack okay as you can see she has 201 speed which is very high um, health 17,000 which is very good and at you can see I have her 100 to effect resistance many will say that this is a little bit low but I just wanted to have her on 100 effective um, effect resistance because of her um, skill enhance Okay, there we go. 
uh, increases the caster combat readiness by 10% after using purification if the caster has effect resistance over 100%. So the only way that I can activate this is by having over 100% effect resistance. So that was the goal there. Have her at least with 100 um, effect resistance and then as I and then I just focus on speed and health. Speed so she can gain more turns and heal and cleanse and health so she can um, heal my heroes, right? Because her healing is based on HP. That's basically it on her. That's why that's how I build her and that's why her stats are a little bit weird. But yeah, I mostly focus on 100 effect resistance and then all speed, all HP. This is a little bit weird, but believe me, it worked. You will see it on the video. So, the last one and the most important DPS hero, Spectre Tunibria. <clears throat> She's doing amazing. She has a little bit low her critical chance, but it, it works, kind of works. It helps a lot, especially because of that attack. I still need to orbit a little bit this I need to read this a little bit more so she can um, and she can help me to enter the second phase of uh, the uh, of the boss faster but that's a work in progress right now so yep normal gear for her critical damage gear with critical chance gear try to aim as for as much as possible on critical chance and critical hit damage then focus on attack I didn't focus too much on speed I tried to use Tamarine, but it didn't work because of the reason that I'm going to be explaining. So, well, what of all these four heroes have in common? Well, remember that I said that on the first phase the Secretary Vera is going to be attacking the heroes that do single attacks against her? Yes, that's a very important thing, because if you attack her with just a single attack, She's going to be stunning you for life. And believe me, I'm telling you this because of experience. I experienced a lot before trying this. So, uh, Spectre Chenibria, after she uses her S3, she's going to be targeting two heroes. So, she is going to be targeting, because this is going to be on Auro, she's going to be targeting um, the boss and another hero, or another egg, or whatever, another monster. <coughs> So that doesn't count as a single attack. The problem here is when she uses her, her S3, it's going to be attacking the boss. So the boss is going to be counter-attacking and it's going to be stunning you. Thankfully, our, um, <clears throat> our Mons Morancy is going to be helping us with that. She may cleanse her that stun for other heroes or she actually might get stunned. So that's kind of RNG there. Um, but I think it works, it works a, uh, a little bit well, especially because of her effect resistance. Then, <clears throat> um, we got her, actually, as one of the heroes that can trigger that stun because of her S1, but since she gains, and I don't know, a lot of cooldowns, turn cooldowns, she will be mostly using her S2 and her S3. So you don't have to worry too much about her using her S1. She might be using it sometimes, but you will see that she will be using mostly her S2 and S3. So you don't have to worry about that. Then the other two heroes, DC, she has only uh, AoE attacks, so you don't have to worry about her. And about Champion Serato is that he's going to be just attacking everyone with her with his S3 or just attacking two heroes with his S1 with his S1 he's going to be attacking the boss and another egg or monster so that's going to be helping a lot so yep that's how the teams works on the first um, part um, Champion Serato is going to help a lot with his defense breaks and removing the debuff from himself doing extra attacks because of that and then this is going to help us to control the enemy with her debuffs and combat readiness reduction and then Tenebris is there just for the damage and obviously the MVP here is going to be Monster Morancy doing her healings and cleansing and everything so yep that's the team 
I don't know, I don't have in mind other heroes because those are the ones that I have built right now. So at the moment those are the ones that I tried. I don't know if there could be any replacement for the heroes that you see here. Um, so if you're going to replace any of the heroes that you don't have here, maybe Spectre Tinibia, that's the one that you might not have. Um, try to use, just try to use a DPS hero that can target multiple enemies um, with the S1 and S2 and S3. You need to do that as much as possible. You need to focus on just having a hero that multi attack, do multi attacks, not single attacks. But because if you don't, believe me, you're going to get stunned a lot. Or if you do what I did with my Spectre of Tinibia, just don't give that much speed and try to give a lot of attack. So, um, since she's so slow, Mons Morales is going to cleanse the stun and then she can attack. That's why I think that that, that team works well. But yep, yeah, without further more to say, I will leave you with the with the attack. Enjoy. Everything you can. Nice. 
Don't be afraid.
away. Fall into nightmare. That must have been painful. Do everything you can. Nice.